Hello, EWRSD. This is Anthony Tedeschi bringing you another video. In today's video, we're going to cover the interactive projector and the built-in toolbars and what the built-in toolbars do. So, if you take your provided battery-powered pen and touch the projected screen surface, you will bring up a menu with four icons. Today, we're going to go over what those four icons do. Icon number one is mouse mode. And to enter mouse mode, you simply have to click on icon number one. Unlike the starboard, if you take your battery-powered pen and try clicking on the screen, it will do nothing because it doesn't know what mode you want to be in. So if you wish to go to mouse mode, simply touch the screen and on the menu, touch on mouse mode. Once you enable mouse mode, you'll be able to click on desktop shortcuts. If you're on the internet, you'll be able to click through a website. Also. Wherever your pointer is on your screen, if you wish to do a right-click mouse, the way you would do so is by touching this icon right here, and this will do a one-time right-click mouse. Touch the screen to get rid of that. And last, to get out of a menu, simply touch on the person exiting through the door, and that will take you back to the main menu. On our menu, <clears throat> icon number two is a pen or annotation mode. So let's go over what the tools in annotation mode do. Tool number one, you'll be presented with nine different tools. The tools on the bottom are the normal pen, and if you look, all the way to the left, the pen is a narrow ink, the middle, it's medium, and on the right, it's a wider width. So for example, if I choose the normal pen thin and draw, it's a thin line. If I choose the normal pen wider, it's a wider line. Let's go back to the pens. The next pen up is a pointer pen, and in order to demonstrate the pointer pen, let me bring up an illustration bring up a map of the United States. Let's talk about what the difference is between normal pen and pointer pen. So if I'm in pointer pen and I draw an annotation on my map of the United States, I can circle as many states as I wish because pointer pen doesn't have a limit. I can keep going and going and it'll record every annotation that I create. If I wish to draw attention to one particular area and I don't wish to have multiple annotations, I can accomplish this by going to the pointer pen. So if I create an annotation over the state of Colorado, and I wait a few seconds, if I create a second annotation on the state of Pennsylvania, you'll notice that the first annotation disappears, and it's replaced by the second annotation. Again, it's very good for drawing attention. So again, if we picked red, we wanted to use some arrows. As soon as we create a second arrow, you'll notice that the first one disappears, and it's replaced by our second annotation. Next tool up is the eraser tool. You're provided with three different size erasers. So if I pick the normal pen and I try to color in the state of Tennessee, elementary school teachers, please don't criticize me for coloring outside of the lines. I apologize. I wasn't very good at coloring. Okay. So if I wish to erase that annotation, what I can do is simply choose an eraser. If I choose the small eraser, it's only going to erase a little bit at one time. If I choose the large eraser, you'll notice that I can erase much faster because the eraser is much bigger. Okay, so for this next example, I'm going to switch to one of my background templates. And we'll go over what the next set of tools does. So the next set of tools is five different tools. Starting with the one on the bottom, that's freehand. So for example, if I write on the board, I can write freehand, I'm not limited to shapes. I can draw anything that I wish. Okay. Next up is the line tool. And the way you create a line is simply put your pen tip down on the surface and drag. You'll notice a series of dotted or dashed lines. That's to let you know what size your line will be. As soon as you let go, the line will appear. Next up is our circle. To create a circle, put your pen tip on the surface and drag. As soon as you're happy with the shape, let go, and it'll, it'll create a circle shape. Next up, we have the square, similar to the circle. Just click, drag, and let go to create a square. And last, we have triangles. Click and drag and let go, and it'll create a triangle. Actually, it looks like a goofy face, if you ask me. <laughs> Anyhow, Unlike the Starboard software, this isn't PC-based software, so you can't select these objects and move them around. When you draw them, they will stay put exactly where you put them, and you cannot move them. 
Okay, so let's clear the screen and we'll go back to the freehand pen for the rest of the example. So the next tool up is our color palette. We have six solid colors on the bottom and two highlighter colors up top. So for example, if I choose a solid color, we'll draw with a solid color. If I pick a highlighter color, if you're highlighting text or something, this color is actually see-through. So if there's an object or text underneath of it, you'll be able to see through that ink straight through, okay? Next example is our trash can. Our trash can is our clear screen or delete all function. So if we have a bunch of annotations up on the board, Rather than sit and go to the eraser tool and erase these manually, we can do this in one shot very quickly and easily by choosing our delete all or clear screen tool, simply by clicking on the trash can. Now, fear not, if you did not wish to delete your screen, you can bring back all of your information by simply clicking on the undo tool and all of your information will come back. Now, in addition to the undo tool, if you did mean to delete the screen and you do want to put everything back in the trash can, you can either click on the trash can or you can jump forward a step by clicking redo and it'll put everything back in the trash can. The next tool that we have, we're not going to cover because it's not being used. Next up, we have our uh, eight background templates. You'll notice that we have some grid paper, we have some solid color backgrounds, we have some line paper, and we have some Venn diagrams. And these are provided to you in white and black for each example. So right now we're using the blackboard. If I wanted to do some lined paper for a handwriting example, I could do that. You notice these background templates just sit on the screen. And in order to clear out, we want to delete all of our annotations and we want to exit out of background templates. The way we do so is we click on our background template and we look for the background template in the bottom right hand corner labeled off and that will shut off our background template and return us back to what we were doing before we entered background template mode. Last, if we want to get out of annotation mode, we can choose the person going through the door and it'll exit us back to the main toolbar. Last on the main toolbar is uh, projection operation mode. This is extremely useful if your batteries are dying in your remote or you lost your remote temporarily. You can still use the projector functions without a remote by going into this menu. So for example, if you want to switch inputs on your projector, this is uh, computer input 1, computer input 2, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, this one's blank screen, volume down, volume up, magnify on, magnify off. This is free screen, this one's not used, this one's uh, calibration, this is projector off and on, and this is exit the menu. So if we want to exit, we'll just touch on the person going through the door, and we'll exit back to the main menu. And last, the red X is to exit out of the menu. So if you ever touch the surface of the screen and this menu appears and you didn't intend to do so, you can just simply click on the red X and exit out of the menu. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please give us a call, email the help desk, and see you on the next one.